What is up, y'all? It's the Eric V, your stream teach here. On Instagram, my rapper friend Saint Bree sent me a simple question. How do you stream on Twitch? And I didn't have a video link to send him. So here is that video link. I'm gonna show you all how to stream on Twitch by using OBS. Scenes, bitrate, audio, video, all that. Class is in session. You open up OBS for the first time, it's gonna look something like this, and it might suggest that it measures your computer's abilities based on internet and hardware to set things up optimally. If you decide not to do that, which I would suggest not doing, I will show you exactly what to do next. So the first thing you're gonna do is click on your settings. You can access the settings from file settings or in the lower right corner by clicking on settings. And you're gonna click on stream and you're going to connect your account. Make sure it says Twitch here. If you're using Facebook or YouTube or Restream or anything else, you can click those services as well. I'm going to connect my account by signing in. I'm going to click submit to sign in. It is authenticating Twitch and we are seeing these settings and we are leaving these alone for now. We're going to click on output and when you click on output mode, you will normally see it say simple for the first time. You're going to click on advanced and I want to refer you to this website. It is stream.twitch.tv. These settings that I have highlighted are the ones that I use based on your upload speed. Here's an upload speed chart. This is going to determine which setting you use. It is also determined by your hardware of your computer and whether you're a partner, affiliate, or just a beginning streamer. Because I'm using this and I have NVIDIA NVENC, we are going to use these settings within OBS. You can only set all of these unless you set your output mode to advanced. So my encoder, I have it set to NVIDIA NVENC, new. Our rate control, we make sure we have it at CBR. Our bit rate, very important setting, is at 4,500. Our preset is set to quality. Our profile is set to high. And we don't touch any of these other settings at all. We leave the max B frames at two. And for now, we're going to click on audio. We're going to make sure that all the global audio devices are disabled. And we're going to click on video. And for video, this is going to determine that 720, 60 FPS that we saw at the top of the chart. Your base canvas resolution, you want that at 1080p, and that is everything that you're seeing. That's at 1080p. The output resolution is everything that the Twitch stream sees. So that's going to be at 720p in this case. FPS value, it was 30 by default. We are going to make sure that that says 60 because I play fast paced games. We are clicking OK, and then everything from Twitch should pop up, specifically our Twitch chat, as well as our stream information. So I prefer my Twitch chat on the right. You can drag it wherever you want and you know you can dock it as soon as this moves out of the way. And I'm just showing you the movement here. So the stream information, I'm gonna dock that. I like docking that on my left. So we have a bit of a cockpit here. The next thing we're gonna do is add our sources. I don't have my capture card plugged in right now, but I do have videos on all the major consoles and how to use capture cards with them. So we are gonna click on the plus sign. In this case, we're going to click on video capture device, whether you have a capture card or just a webcam, you're gonna use this option. Right now we are using my Sony A5100 and that is via a cam link. If you don't know what that is, I made a video about that as well. And we are going to select that camera from the list. That's our cam link 4K. And because it's in 1080p, it's going to fill up the canvas. Here I am. We're gonna leave all of this at default and click OK. Once we've done that, I'm going to add a display capture just so you see how it is to interact with more than one source within a scene. So let's select display capture. I'm gonna leave it named as default and we are going to select our other monitor that I showed you earlier. Now the order of these sources is very important. Basically, if a layer appears on top of another one, then that layer appears on top of it within the stream itself. So if I drag my camera on top of display capture, then I appear on top of it and I can resize myself so that I can be in a corner. And if you have a capture card, you already know what to do from here. You are seen, you can see the game, but we're not done yet. If you want to crop the webcam at all, like I tend to like to do, 
You can hold down the Alt key and crop that camera however you want to your face as you drag the edges and you can make that face a little bit bigger and make sure that your audience is seeing the thing that's important, your money maker. But for now, we're just going to right click, transform, reset that. So the next thing we're gonna do is add the audio to your initial default scene source. Under sources, we're gonna click on the plus sign again, and then we're going to click on audio input capture. And as you can see, it's a little microphone icon. That's a clue. I'm gonna name that the Wave 3 because that is the microphone that I'm using. I'm clicking OK. From the device list, I am selecting Mic In Elgato Wave 3. I'm clicking OK, and from then, we see that our microphone has appeared and it is measuring my voice. After we do that, we want the stream to hear our game or whatever I'm hearing from my computer, in my case. So we're gonna click on that plus sign once again, and then we're clicking on Audio Output Capture, and again, we have a little speaker icon, that's a clue. I'm going to name that Desktop Audio and I will click OK. From this list, I will select my headphones that I use while I stream, which are the SteelSeries Arctis 7X. So whenever that picks up audio, the stream will hear it. The reason I disabled the devices in the audio global devices in the settings menu is because I want to control this audio from scene to scene. I prefer to have at least, at minimum, three scenes. One just chatting, which is a scene just like this, one scene for while I game and one scene for be right back in breaks. We are going to make a new scene right now by clicking on the left plus sign under scenes. And I'm gonna name that BRB. And we are going to drag a very generic image here. And what's cool about images and video, when you add them to scenes, you can just drag them directly into OBS and then OBS will grab it. So we're gonna right click on this and because it's so low res, we are going to stretch it to screen and that will make it look a little bit funky, but at least it filled up the screen. I'm just showing this as an example. If I did want people to hear desktop audio, for instance, you can right click that or control C that and copy it and go into your Be Right Back scene, right click it and paste it. And now people can hear whatever is coming through your computer's desktop audio, or in my case, my headphones. Once all of that is done, you've tested your audio, you've done some test recordings using the bottom right options here. Everything sounds okay, everything looks okay. You can not start streaming yet because you then have to go to your left side here and make sure that your title, your go live notification that goes to people's phones, your gaming category or whatever your category is, everything on the Twitch left side is set. You make sure you click done because the settings don't save unless you click done. And then you go to the bottom right corner and you can start streaming officially. Once you start streaming, you will see the live counter go up and it'll let you know how long you've been live, obviously. And you will see what your frames look like and your streams performance, which will be indicated by colors, green, red, orange, yellow that type of thing. So that's basically it. If you want to see a pro do it, come to twitch.tv slash the Eric V. And if you like the video, then like the video. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment. I will answer them promptly. Class dismissed. Shout out to Corliss and Dr. J for being tier three patrons. Don't say anything about last night, all right? See, you, you making people more sus, bro. Like you, you right here in front of this dude who asking about us walking to school together. Talking about don't say nothing about last night. <laughs> like, what you mean? What did I say? What?